Well, aloha and good evening. The sun has just set here in uh, Maricopa, Arizona, and I have set up my trailer here. You can see my truck and my trailer here, and so right there. <laughs> and then my doggies are over here. They just ate dinner. Where's Tebow? Tebow, come. Tebow has a bad habit of wandering a little too far. I like them to stay where I can see them, so they should be able to see me too. Um, so far we have not encountered any dangerous critters like rattlesnakes or scorpions or tarantulas, but they do exist out here. They say that as long as you're not like walking off the beaten path, then you should be not enc encountering them. And most of the time they scatter away from you anyway because they don't want to become dinner for somebody so anyway um so let me show you here a little bit of my setup um so my time uh yesterday was spent driving all day i got here like at 5 p.m um and the overnight stay in the truck stop went well. It was cold, but I had my handy dandy sleeping bag that was very cozy as long as I had it over me. So I put it over me and the dogs. And um, in my truck itself, it was um, like 44 degrees, but outside it was 33 degrees. So, um, so it was not the best night's sleep, but I did get some sleep. And, um, and when I got here, um, so Mike, the owner of this ranch, was able to set me up with uh, some chargers. Tebow, stay over here. So let me see if you can see this here. Yeah, so we've got this and this other thing charging my batteries. So I was able to have lights and heat last night. Although <laughs> the heat stopped, uh, in the early morning because I ran out of propane. So uh, we need to get some, uh, he has extra propane here. So I'm gonna switch out to that and then bring these with us tomorrow to get refilled. And tomorrow we have a treat uh, thanks to Mike and Peggy here who run the ranch. So they decided like, instead of, um, working tomorrow we are going to go to Sedona for a hike uh, so one of our woofers is leaving tomorrow and so that's what some ranches do is they will have like a special dinner or a special trip or event to go to um, the last day and then uh, a new woofer is coming in I think he said from France, or he's French, so I don't know if that means he's French Canadian or what, but anyway. Um, so we're picking him up at the Phoenix airport because uh, we got to go through Phoenix to get to Sedona. So, and we're going to do some wild foraging, which I've never done. I have no idea what we can find out there, um, but um, that is going to be really interesting. And oh, so the other thing I wanted to share with you, you know, I'm a wellness guide and I'm all about sharing with you what helps me with my health. So, um, so one of the things that I noticed because I've been eating not as much vegetables as I normally do, um, you know, traveling and staying at people's homes, I, you know, tell them that, you know, what I like to eat, but I tell them, well, whatever you have in your house, I'll figure something out, you know, so... So, you know, I had salad and salmon and uh, rice, but not not as much salad and not not the dark green beefy kind, you know. I did have broccoli, so I don't know. But I guess I just didn't have enough because um, I've been constipated the last two days. And, um, you know, it, it comes out, it's just like really hard. <laughs> so sorry if that's too, too much information for you, but... Um, I just like to share. So if you have constipation problems, just eat more raw vegetables, really. Um, cooked ones are fine too, but um, 
the raw ones I think are better because I feel like it really gets things moving and flushes and sweeps things out of your colon. So, and drinking enough water and eating enough healthy fats to get that all moving because um, if you have too much vegetables and not enough of that other stuff, to then it's just not lubricated if you want to think of it that way. So, anyway, and, um, and well, we had nice um, online worship today. Um, so that was nice and uh, I still need to get inside this trailer and organize it more. I think I'll show that to you tomorrow the inside because I don't want to make this too long because I need to go take a shower and I need to go in the, the main house to do that because I haven't set up the water yet in my uh, trailer. So, so thank you for uh, tuning in to my vlog again. Um, well, if this is the first time, then <laughs> thanks for coming this first time. And if you want to know more about my channel, go to my intro video, which talks more about what I'm about. Um, and oh, I just noticed this is the wrong way. <laughs> this is supposed to be my little sign that tells people that I don't hear well. So if they talk to me and I don't respond, they know why. Anyway, um, so have a good evening. Um, I will respond to your comments after dinner. I wanted to do it before this video and be able to answer your questions during the video, but you know, um, that didn't work out <laughs> because, oh, I was making, I made like five batches of smoothies today because we had a uh, old watermelon that was on the verge of having to be thrown out and I hate to throw out food even it's not organic and you know the nutritional value has diminished somewhat um it's still got some it's got fiber it's got water and um you know natural sugars which I rather have than processed sugar so so I made a um, watermelon smoothie with different variations of things so if you want to know more about that then please leave a comment down below so okay now i'm done so good night and have uh, pleasant dreams and i will talk to you tomorrow <laughs>